The Yu-Gi-Oh! franchise is well known for the large number of changes that have been made to it outside of Japan. And in most cases, when changes are made to the card artwork, the same edits will be kept for all other Yu-Gi-Oh! media, including the games and anime. With the franchise's over 20 year history, and it's still going very strong today, there have been many hundreds of cards affected by artwork changes. And there have also been many more changes than that if looking at alterations outside of the artwork. But there have actually been a few cards that, for some reason, were originally released uncensored and then only got changed for later reprints. There are only a small number of cases of this, and perhaps these are examples of things being somehow missed originally, or are to do with the content restrictions developing over time. And so today we'll be taking a look at 10 examples where this has happened. And first up is number 1, Contract with Exodia, which was released in 2003. A big source of changes to the overseas versions of Yu-Gi-Oh! is the removal of religious references. This is likely due to a perceived increase of religious sensibilities in certain western regions, and this is something that there has been a lot of examples of in all kinds of other Japanese media when brought to the west. When Contract with Exodia was originally released, it featured Ank symbols on its artwork. The Ank is an ancient Egyptian religious symbol, and owing to this, later reprints of the card removed the symbols outside of Japan without anything being substituted for them. However, when the card was originally released, the removal of Anks in card artwork had already been established in the international version of the franchise. Even Exodia Necros, which the contract with the Exodia card summons, has its Ank modified outside of Japan. Furthermore, there had already been the change made to the iconic Monster Reborn card, which was released in the game's very first card pack and is changed from an Ank to something completely different outside of Japan. Number 2, Book of Life, Book of Moon and Book of Tayo, which were released in 2004 and 5. Comparable to Contract with Exodia, the three book cards were originally released in the overseas version with Anks depicted in their artwork as is the case in Japan. However, in later reprints, the Anks are removed for non-Japanese versions. Number 3, Petty Angel, which was released in 2002. And for the last religious related change, we have Petty Angel. Despite the religious angel part of its name, that isn't what got changed for later international versions. Instead, in later reprints, the halo above its head is removed outside of Japan, with the removal of halos being something that can be found in numerous other Yu-Gi-Oh cards released outside of Japan. However, Petit Angel was first released in the very first card pack, which is likely at least part of the reason it would then be later modified. Number 4, Constella Meteor, which was released in 2013. Next, we will be focusing on some cards altered due to violence-related reasons. The first of these being Constella Meteor, which depicts a fiery battle in its artwork and was originally released as a dual terminal card. Now, concern over violence related content has existed ever since the franchise's beginning, and this can even include concern over some things that are very mild in nature. However, for some reason, despite violence already being a big concern, Cancella Meteor's artwork is revised for later non-Japanese versions to reduce the amount of fire in the artwork. With this meaning, you can now see the lower half of the character through the flames. Number 5, Cybersaurus, which was released in 2002. Cybersaurus was originally released the same as in Japan, and it had a more realistic looking weapon attached to one of its arms. However, in later non-Japanese versions, the gun is recolored green and red, which gives it a much more cartoony appearance. Number 6, Misairu Zame, which was released in 2002. This is another one of the early cards released in the franchise, and it saw similar changes later on as Cybersaurus. In later non-Japanese versions, the missile under Underneath it is recolored, making it look less realistic and more cartoony in nature. Number 7, Blast Juggler, which was released in 2002. Blast Juggler is yet another one of the early cards in the franchise, and while in English the card is called Blast Juggler, in the Japanese version it is called Mr. Bomber. The English name may actually give you a hint about how the card would be redesigned for later non Japanese reprints. While originally the artwork depicted the monster holding two bombs, the bombs are changed so that they resemble juggling balls. Furthermore, the fuse on the monster's head is also removed. Number 8, Cold Enchanter, which was released in 2008. Moving away from violence related changes, next is changes to suggestive designs. Suggestive designs being altered outside of Japan has, like violence related changes, happened ever since the franchise's beginning, and this includes changes to some things that are very mild in nature. However, despite Cold Enchanter releasing in 2008, meaning the franchise had existed for many years by this point, 
point, it would, for some reason, be changed for later reprints outside of Japan. In the later versions, the lower half of her outfit was lengthened so that any skin is no longer visible. Number 9, Harpy Girl, which was released in 2004. Many of the Harpy cards have been censored outside of Japan in not just the card game, but also other Yu-Gi-Oh! media. However, Harpy Girl is a card from 2004, which was a few years after the Harpy cards were first introduced outside of Japan. And while the card was originally released with the same artwork as Japan, later reprints for the international versions have all of her skin covered with clothing. But keeping with that notion is number 10, Harpy Lady, which was released in 2002. The iconic Harpy Lady card was released outside of Japan in June 2002. Meanwhile, the card first appeared in the English version of the anime the previous year in October 2001. The card would be depicted fairly frequently in the anime following that, and it and the other Harpy cards would always be changed for the English version, with one of the alterations being that their outfits are made less revealing. However, despite the anime already making these changes the previous year, the Hoppy Lady card would originally be released exactly the same as in Japan, and the card's first release was also a few months after cards started to get released outside of Japan, and so it wasn't a launch card. But for later international releases, Hoppy Lady has her outfit changed in a manner similar to her anime appearance. What are your thoughts on these cards originally being released the same as in Japan, and what do you think about the changes that were made? As always, let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and until next time, thank you for watching.